Everyone remembers the opening from Bioshock, right? Your plane crashed, the water was on fire, and climbing into Rapture was your only option. Not so in Bioshock 2. Here you play as a big daddy 10 years after the original, and the start isn't quite as dramatic. You wake up on the city's floor, take a look at your hands, and notice your reflection in a pool of water, then trot off to see why you were lying around in the first place and what exactly it is that you're trying to do. Without giving away much of the plot, here's a little bit of what you'll run into near the beginning. The most obvious difference is that there's a giant drill on your arm, which can be useful for smashing aside splicers. It's not long until you get your first plasmin, good old electro bolt, which you can use to stun and damage enemies, especially if they're standing in a pool of water. <laughs> Exploring the sections of Rapture here will reveal elements familiar to any Bioshock fan. Text and images are still scrawled across Rapture's walls, little sisters still wander around, though this time they're more friendly since you're a big daddy. Even the big sister makes an appearance really early on, and it's not long until you engage her in battle. Since she's so much more agile than anything else we've seen in Rapture, this makes for a particularly intense fight where you need to stay mobile and use all the firepower you've got, which at this point in the game isn't very much. She scampers away eventually and you get a few new toys. The rivet gun shoots out projectiles or trap rivets that work sort of like proximity mines. You'll get a telekinesis plasmid so that you can grab a hold of objects and hurl them at enemies. A hack tool can fire darts from afar at things like security cameras to turn them friendly, and the new hacking minigame plays out in real time. The fact that you can wield plasmids and weapons simultaneously makes it easy to take advantage of all of your abilities, and it'll be interesting to see how that develops further into the game. One of the most intriguing parts of the intro bits is an underwater section where you actually go out onto the ocean floor and walk around. It's a linear bit so there's not much exploration to do, but it stands out here because it reinforces the idea that you're inside of a giant diving suit instead of just some puny human on a lot of drugs. That's only a tiny bit of the overall experience, and we're looking forward to seeing what lies further in Bioshock 2. For more information, head over to IGN.com. Daddy was sleeping for such a long time. <laughs>